Okay, so the next mode we're going to be diving right into when it comes to the minigame tent, and that's what appears to be my favourite mode. That's what appears to be test for the best. Data mine your party mojo level by playing minigames. So basically, this particular mode is like a combination of decathlon uh, modes from the likes of the forms of M Mario Party 5, Mario Party 6, and Mario Party 7, but at the same time, it's more accurately kind of like the same similar thing as the new forms of how it does it in Endurance Alley from Mario Party 6 and King of the River from Mario Party 7, except the fact that we have to go for a certain amount of scores. So, in Test for the Best, you'll try to earn the highest possible score and skill grade from each of 10 minigames. You can earn 1,000 points in each test, leading to a total 10,000 points overall. Why able to actually accomplish that? Well, I'll try my best, especially noticeable about the fact that there are certain minigames I was really good at, but uh, most of the time though, it's just the fact that we have to able to go for a series of amounts of those motion control based minigames, so... Uh, let's see what minigame are we doing first. Sorcerer Swarm. So as you can tell, it's the fact that all of these minigames are no longer going to be split into a few different split screens, so it's just all about you, and it's your job to able to actually just do multitasking. So in this case though, in this uh, Sor Sorcerer Swarm, basically we need to take down as many of those aliens as you could. And I believe depending on how much score you can get on the mini games, it doesn't matter if it's either score or time based, then basically you can get up to a few different ranks. So in this case, the highest rank you can get is obviously the A+. And then there's also A rank, B rank, C rank, and D ranks. And the worst rank out of them all though, it will definitely actually be the forms of uh, the F rank. So, and if you're not able to get the F rank, it's the fact that you do the worst performance. So, as far as I'm aware, when it comes to the forms of attaining a... Uh, or obtaining those ranks, as far as that's been concerned with, so... Anyway, so I scored 50 points, and right off the bat, I got 1,000 points, so... Yeah, Titan Defender. Yeah. Thanks for that. And also, as you can see on my uh, previous record, I managed to get up to, like, 8,827 points. So I think that was actually back in the day, where I, uh... Managed able to select Hammer Bro last time, back in the Forbes event 2012. Because that was another thing, is the fact that originally, I did manage to get this video back in 2012. But it's no longer there anymore, just because, like always, it's the fact that the camera quality is really bad. And on top of all that stuff though, the commentary is super cringe worthy. And on top of all that stuff though, it's just not as pleasant to look at. And on top of that though, it's split into two parts. Much like the forms of uh, minigame mini Decathlon in Mario Party 5, Decathlon Park from Mario Party 6, and uh, Decathlon Castle from Mario Party 7. But this time around though, in 2022, which is 10 years later, then obviously it's in full video length. So, I appreciate about that, so... Anyway, so the next minigame we have is uh, Settle It in Court, so we can able to expect that we need to score as many of those baskets as much as we can. So I think the highest you can get up to, it will might actually be 18 roughly, so either way though. And keep that in mind though, is the fact that the actual uh, motion with that particular basketball icon gets a tad bit faster than any forms of how it doesn't on a regular minigame. Just as far as I'm aware is the fact that we're no longer going to be able to compete against with somebody else, so... Oh sweet! Another A rank! So, Hoops Super Shooter, or Super Shooter, whatever it's been more specifically, so... Yeah, pretty cool, huh? So yeah, every time when if you finish the minigame, then this hot air balloon will start to able to increase upwards, so... But again, the maximum you can get up to is easily by the forms of 10,000 points, which, I will have to admit though, it is kind of difficult, but regardless of such though, like I said before, I will try my best to able to actually aim for that certain amount of scores, but either way though, it's just for the sake of the forms of trying to show you guys off, for the sake of the forms of this particular run-through of Test for the Best. Because as far as I've saw the forms of other videos of Test for the Best, um, for the most part, it's actually really well done. 
especially noticeable with the 10,000 record, especially noticeable about the fact that, well, in order to be able to get up to 10,000 points, you need to be perfect in every single mini games. so, because as far as I'm aware, you have to get all 10 of those A-plus ranks, and if you miss one of them, then you're probably not going to make it to the highest score, so because of that though, that could be a bit challenge, especially noticeable you have to rely on motion controls on certain mini games, and on top of all that stuff though, that's as far as I can usually try to describe it, so... So anyways, here we go on to Rotation Station, where basically we need to, you know, try to do a lot of platforming here and there. I could have expected if I was trying to able to make our way to the actual minigame as quickly as I can, but I'm probably not going to risk it too much, because if I fell off so many times, that way it'll easily give me F, so, which I don't let that happen, especially because F is a bad thing, because obviously that is easily the worst rank, so... But luckily, I've got myself an A rank, so pretty cool. Almost perfect, but hey, at least I'll take it, I suppose. So yeah, a uh, few things I want to explain for this point today, and that is the fact that um, I want to classify for saying that today's day is, of course, the, uh, the 22nd of May today. In this case, in 2022 today. We're getting pretty close, though, until we're able to not only reach to the point where we've almost had the next month, which appears to be June, but also at the very at the beginning of summer, and uh, on top of all that stuff, though, with the release of My Little Pony and Mayor Time Bay Adventure video game. So, yeah, not much else to say at this point. Well, apart from the fact that I'm just gonna have to focus here because the next mini game we're gonna be hop onto is Iron the Price. So, since then we've already seen this mini game already, except now that uh, we got to do this by our own. So. Because here's the thing though, is the fact that for some reason I keep used to with the forms of the split screen version of certain mini games. Because as you can tell, it's the fact that sometimes the actual, uh, just only one screen version of that particular mini game just almost throws me off a bit. But when you get the hang of it though, it might not be so bad. Oh jeez, I messed it up completely, but I would guarantee you I'm also able to get the A, so... Definitely no A+, plus though, that's for sure. But, at least I did try, so... It's just the fact that you have to be so accurate with all that reaction timing and stuff like that, when it comes to likely getting a, uh, you know, the perfect score and stuff like that, but, again, I'll take an A rank just in case, so... And it feels like, so far, we have not actually come across into a B, C, or D, or even F ranks so far, which I think is actually a really good sign. Especially noticeable about the fact that I'm usually doing pretty well at this, so... Alright, next up we have is Carter Sphere, so we can able to actually just do some careful drifting and stuff like that for that nature, so... Yeah, that's as far as I can say about it. I'm not exactly sure about the fact that if you try to able to break, and then basically just do a bit of a careful uh, drifting and stuff like that. It could help, but I've obviously have no words to think about it, so. Although I did manage to do that, so I'm guessing that might help, I guess. But again, Ball just able to actually figure this out though, especially noticeable about the fact that, well, that again though, I will try my best to able to go for the highest score if possible, so. Because, I don't know about you, I think the last time I played this mode was actually back in 10 years ago, which, that was also during the exact same time, as when I somehow managed to able to did this video originally, with all that bad camera quality, as well as, like I said, really, really cringe-worthy um, commentary, and you probably named the rest. Alright, so let's see how well I did. Another A, Supersonic Squealer. Hmm, interesting. Almost a perfect though, and I'm pretty sure that in order to able to get an A plus on this mini game, I'm pretty sure you need to able to go under for about, well, I would say under 44 seconds or something. Well, I don't exactly know what the actual clue of that specific point is worth noting for, but again, depending on what version you're playing, that's uh, sometimes the actual game speed is actually a little bit different, so. Alright, surf's way up. So, hopefully I'm also able to try my best to able to do this, so... Although, the only thing you need to watch out for is, of course, the Bowser target. So, in this case, if you accidentally manage to able to get hit, 
by that Bowser target, uh, basically you lose all of your points. So, and I believe also if you manage to able to touch the Bowser target, uh, obviously you instantly get an F. So, you don't want to let that happen, don't you? So anyway, I'm just going to focus here. Looking good so far. Oh, speaking of a devil, there's the Bowser target right there, which I need to avoid. And thankfully, though, you don't need to worry about the CPU computer player, because obviously you can able to move whatever you wanted to, so, uh... Oh, jeez, that was actually really close. 720. Or in this case, 720 points, so... And I believe in order to be able to get an A plus on that mini game, I'm pretty sure you need to reach up for about 800 points. So Stellar Surfer, nice, nicely done so far. But I will be able to actually have a look what uh, at the results once we finish up with the entirety of, uh, well, test for the best as far as I'm usually concerned with. So. Alright, next mini game here. So I think we pretty much at the halfway point, I guess. So Alright, snipe for the picking, so hopefully I'll try my best to able to aim for the perfect for uh this particular mini game. But most of the time though, it's just the fact that sometimes that uh I'll have to admit it though, I'm still pretty much used to with uh the actual regular uh split screen and stuff like that, because most of the time though I just Somehow used to that, so... Alright, here we go. Alright, looking good. Oh, darn it! I messed it up. Ah. I was literally so close, because sometimes I can't be too slow on this part, because if I went too slow, uh, basically I will able to actually not guarantee to able to get the actual best score if possible, so... Anyway, so... Yeah, I believe uh, 1,500 points will actually give you an instant uh, A+, I'm pretty sure. So, uh, yeah, pretty swell. As far as I'm aware, I'm as well able to once again take an A, so that's fine by me. So, Surefire Sniper. And it actually tells you the description of uh, the actual uh, the rank you've got, which kind of feels like similar to the forms of how it does it on... Uh, if you ever play certain uh, extra mini games for Mario Party 4, that depending on how well you did on most of those mini games, then basically you get a rank description based off from how well you did on most of the mini games. So, yeah, that's something worth noting for. So, Swing Kings. So, hopefully, I'm also able to guarantee to able to get myself an instant A plus if I manage to able to hit all 20 of those balls. So. Let's go focus here now. Alright, here we go. Alright, looking good here. I can't afford to able to get any single mistake. Alright, looking good. Oh, don't let that particular... Uh, short, small tossing throws you off. Yes! 20! Whew! God, that was perfect. Especially noticeable about the fact that if I mess up once, I will not guarantee to get an A+. Plus. So, home run king. Thank you. Whew! Jeez, my heart was beating really fast if I was going to able to try to pull that off. But anyways, we reach over 7,000 points, so looking good so far. As far as for my results, as far as this is concerned. Alright, so we're now on the ninth test, so I believe we might able to actually see a new minigame or Alpine Assault. In this case, we have a new minigame, Pump of Cars. This is originally from the likes of the dual minigame, so yeah, let's see the rules here. Pump the hand card litter to make your way to the finish line. Get there fast to rank up a good score. Pump up and down as quickly as you can. Small but certain hand motions work better than overdramatic ones. So, 
yeah, basically, it's kind of weird about the fact that in order to be able to work with the controls in this mini game, you have to hold A and 1 at the same time as you're doing motion mashing. So I'm going to have to do this quickly. Oh my god, that was a lot of hard work, but uh, I would classify for saying it might actually be somewhat a bit slower, so I might as well get- WHAT?! Oh my god, another A+. plus! Wow, hand card commando. Wow, that was amazing. I have no idea why I just managed to able to pull this off, but still, that was incredible. And obviously we already know what the last minigame we're about to be able to play through is Alpine Assault. So, I'm a little bit nervous about the forms of Alpine Assault, honestly, just because, we're well to be speaking, if I'm actually able to get hit by certain walls or certain uh, Mr. Blizzards, then obviously if I slow down, that uh, it'll instantly give me an F. So, hope for the best for my part. So, okay. Just gonna keep my Wii Remote steady as I could. Alright. Just gonna dodge those Mr. Blizzards. And there's gonna be some ramps you can able to actually just to uh, pull off your timing and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, that's sure it's something. What the hell? Um, okay. Um, I'll take the actual speed boost here. Especially noticeable that most of the time, sometimes I always uh, miss those little ramps here, so I guess that might be alright. And, okay. Whoa, what the heck? What's up with that physics? But, who cares anyway, because I think that we actually beat this minigame for under 35 seconds, so... Seems not too bad, I guess. Oh my god, an instant A+, high speed border. Wow, that is so fantastic. Especially noticeable, it's almost like a flawless run. So we've reached 9,000 points. So, almost to 10,000, but either way though, I'm perfectly fine just to take this. So, and as soon as you're able to finish up with those 10 mini games, then MC Bally here will tell you the final results. And basically, well, it actually tells you the title of your ranking. So, in this case, I have Galactic Master. And my total score I've got is 9,750 points. Wow, that is an almost a flawless run. Even though I was off by 250 points to able to get all the way up to the top of the moon, I'm pretty sure the rank you can get if you get up to 10,000 points was actually Supreme Superstar. At least as far as I'm guessing correctly. So, uh, yeah, look at that. Almost to the point I've almost got all 10 of those A pluses. In fact, I actually got 5 A pluses and 5 A's, so almost like a 50-50 when it comes to those two amazing ranks. That's pretty awesome actually. In fact, that was actually the best run I've ever done in my life. Almost perfect though. But anyways, after we're done with Test for the Best, you get yourselves those colorful cards based off of what ranks you get. I think I've got 50 right there. And if you get to 10,000, you get 100, so that's quite a lot. 